Hey everybody, this is me, Karen Buford, come to you live on Facebook. I'm trying to adjust this camera so I can see it. So, uh, I'm coming to you live again in my studio, live studio session. And I decided that I would go ahead and try to finish up my beautiful little girl here. I put a little cloud on her head. Let me see if I can get you guys to see that. Put a little cloud on, my head, on her head so you guys can see um, how I'm going to finish her off and give her some definition so that you guys can see what's going on. So, again, I'm going to take my handy dandy little um, uh, eraser and dip it in some water. And um, uh, I'm going to have some more videos, maybe, you know, once a week or so, where I come in and show you a technique. And um, this one isn't going to take very long for me to get this off of her. And then I'll go in and I'll put in some definition on her dress because she seems to be fading kind of into this uh, acrylic poured painting that I did. And this was a really cool technique that I did. Um, I learned um, several years ago how to do, um, how to do uh, marble painting um, or marbling technique with um, water and acrylic and the stuff that you pour into the... Um, you pour into the water and then you can put a piece of paper on there and it sets the the paint sets on the water and you can lift the paper off and you have a marble technique and I have a couple of books around here somewhere that have that and um, it's pretty cool pretty cool technique um, but one of the ways that you can make the marbling on the book is you have to drag something through it and it just the paint just like lays around like this and it, you get this kind of technique here that you see and so I decided from all the videos that I've seen of people doing this that I would kind of do that because I thought just letting it lay around and bubble wasn't all that cool it's okay but I thought I'd be different so um, this is bothering me I think this might be upside down I think I'm going to flip my camera because I want to look at the camera Oh, sorry, you're looking at my glasses. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I feel like I'm looking at y'all. Hey, how y'all doing? Okay, so let me see if this is ready to come off. And then, well, I'm going to try to make sure I don't take her little face off because she's so cute. She's such a cute girl. Cute little baby. And she's got her little tutu on because she's a dancer, and she looks like she's dancing. You can't really tell because this is her hand right here. Oh man, let me see if I can turn this down a little bit. It looks like it's really upside down now. Now I can see it, but all my words are upside down. Am I upside down, you guys? Tell me if I'm upside down. Send me a comment and tell me if I'm upside down. Am I upside down to you guys? Because it looks like all the writing. I see Tom is watching. I see Jonathan is watching. John, Tom, uh, Tom and Jonathan, tell me if I'm upside down. Because I feel like I'm upside down. So tell me if I'm upside down. Maybe if I put it sideways, I'd be able to see it better. Oh, that's so much better. But now, oh, wait, no, nope, that's the camera. You can see my apparatus. Let's see. Sorry for all the manu maneuvering. No, no, you can't see anything. Okay. All right, I'm just going to try and live with this. Let me put it down here. I'm going to get one of those uh, things and use it on my, um, you get one, oh, there, that's better. Oh, yeah, you can you can see my art, but you can't see me, i got to bend down. Okay. So, I'm going to get one of those tripods that they have, so I can just use my phone, instead of my big old iPad, which is, like, kind of weird. But, anyway, it's still upside down. I don't understand what happened. Okay, anyway. So, anyway, um, I'm still going to do my live broadcast um, at the Virtual Black Arts Festival. Um, and I posted that um, link on my Facebook page. You may have to go back. I'll post it again. You may have to go back. Oh, yeah, that's going to come off. And uh, you get, it's a 99 cent uh, fee to get, to get into the uh, show on February 24th. February 25th. Oh, look at that come off. Oh, yay. And um, if you wait until February 24th or 25th, then it's going to be like $10 to come into the show. 
So I encourage everybody to pay the 99 cents. Then you can see more of me doing stuff like this. And then also, um, somebody tell me what you want me, if you want me to have like a discussion or if you want me to do more art, um, let me know. Because, um, you know, I can run my mouth forever talking about stuff. Or, you know, if you want me to have a serious topic about things that you really want to know about, if you want to know about stuff that I do, or if you want to know about, um, you know, things that um, are important to you in the art world, or, you know, whatever it is. Um, I thought I'd give her some more hair, because in the picture her hair was cut off. So, um, that's what I thought I'd do with this, is give her some more hair. Because I didn't want her hair to be all weird. It is going to leave a little line, but I have some paint over here that I'm going to use to uh, paint that out. Because I just want her to have, she had a really, looked like she had a really beautiful head of hair. So I wanted to give her some more hair. And this is uh, from the same photo that I got. It's just a piece that was really dark. So I thought I'd use that. It might be a little too dark. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But... I like that it has like these little bubbles in it. It's got these little areas in it. If you guys can see that. It's got these little areas in it where you can see through the painting. And she's just so cute. Oh, she's such a cute little girl. Such a cute little girl. So, at any rate, if you guys go ahead and do that 99 cent thing, I know I'm bugging you about it, but you know, if I don't bug people about it, then they'll forget. And then when it comes time, then they'll be all mad. Karen, you didn't tell me that it was going to cost $10. No, I told you it was going to cost 99 cents. And you forgot and didn't do it. And then, you know, the day up, then people are going to be like, man, I don't want to do that. So go ahead and do that now while you're thinking about it, while I'm talking about it. And then you'll have time to do it. You know, when it's time, then it'll only be 99 cents. And then you can see my artwork and, um, you know, you can give me feedback or, you know, you can help me participate. You can participate in it that way. So I think that's going to be good. So the rest of her, I'm going to get my little tiny, tiny paintbrushes. This is my tiny paintbrush. Isn't that tiny? Oh, wait, where's my camera? Oh, yeah, there it is. Let's see, that's a really tiny paintbrush. It's really small. Oh, let me bring it back. It's really small. And that's what I use to paint the outlines. Now, I could use, um, I could use a pen. I do have a black pen. But um, I'm going to let this dry out a little bit see how much oh, I can feel some paper on there still. Let that dry out a little bit and see how much paper is still left on that. That's a piece of paper I pulled off of there. Um, but um, I want to give her some feet because she doesn't have any feet. I don't know if you can see down here. She doesn't have any feet. So I'm going to give her some feet and paint that out just a little bit. Just give her some feet. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. I'm just going to just lightly paint in some feet for her. They kind of go off the side of the page. And I just lightly paint in some feet for her. Just some little toes, some little feet. And um, just, I want it to be kind of translucent, so I'm going to kind of. I'd like it to match what I have, but I don't know how well that's going to work out. So I'm just going to make them kind of see through. So that it looks like, you know, she's kind of in a cloud. I want her to be looking like she's dancing on a cloud. And I'm kind of not liking how that's looking, but we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. I'm not sure if I like how it's looking, but I'm going to give her some more color in here. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm going to get black maybe up here at the top. That's a little bit darker. Okay, I'm going to bring that up. And I know it's really hard to see. It's hard for me to do it and show it to you because that's really hard to do on this like terrible, awful little camera I have. It's not that great of a camera. We've got some red to that. She's got a little bit of red in it. Ooh, that's too much. Mm -mm, no. No, no. No, no. Let's not add that. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Add a little bit of black to that. Get a brighter one. Oh, yeah, that's much better. 
trying to match the color of this paper because you know some of it's paper and some of it's a photograph and then there's a tiny bit of orange yellow I think orange yellow yellow orange okay. so I have to try and match that too it's really light so that one there that's why I'm using such a tiny little brush oh yeah that's a good color yeah that matches really good so and I'm gonna just try and blend that out that's not bad I kind of like that some red in there. Match that up. A little bit more red. I should be doing cooking with gas here soon. Cooking with gas. Okay. Oh, hey Eva. Hey Dee Dee. I miss you guys. I miss my friends. So, I'm painting with, uh, as Bob Ross likes to say, I'm painting with two hairs and some air. As he likes to say, this is a very tiny brush. And I know it's really hard for you all to see this, but you know, if I tilt it that way, you can see a little bit better. Um, it has a little bit too much water. So I'm just really tapping this and trying to match this color here, which isn't the foot with the color that I see that's on the painting, which is actually a piece of paper it has ink on it. So I think I need a little bit more red. I might have to choose. Oh, what is that? Ew. What is that? Oh, that's not a piece of the brush. That's a ring of monofiber. Hmm. Um, I might have to get a darker red or something. I'll add a little black to that. Let's see if I darken that red up. Let's see. So anyway, um, it's been really nice here in Las Vegas. I, I hate to break that news to you people. Who are suffering from the winter wherever you're at in the cold parts of the United States but you know that's why I live in Vegas because you know it's nice and um, I, I really you know sorry sorry my folks sorry hmm I still need to add some more black to that it's still a little too light so let me add a little black to that see if I can darken that up a little bit Still not getting that color match I want. Have to add still a little bit more. It's still darker. Well, I think I need another color of red. Let me see if I have one. So spice berry. What color is this? That's purple. Let's see. Sorry, it's moving the. Uh, let's see what color is this? Cardinal crimson. Is that what color red I have? No, I have candy apple. Mmm, let's see what this candy apple look like. This might just be the ticket. Ooh, that's a nice red. Oh, that might be the ticket. Let's see. Let me open that up. Because I don't need all of it. I just need a little squirt. I just need a little squirt. So, um, I've been working really hard. I've got some new artworks that I did on my computer. Um, I went to downtown Vegas and um, well to the strip and I saw some really cool stuff and I took some photos on my phone so not all my artwork is um, is painting some of it is photographs so let's see if this is gonna make a difference and I made some really cool photo uh, photo collage type work that you'll be able to see um, on my um, I'll be putting it up on my website. It's not on my website yet. I'm uh, entering that into a different art show that I'll be participating in. Um, and that's a local art show. Um, right now, I have art. If you're in Las Vegas, right now I have art at the um, um, Spring Hill Suites Hotel, which is on Paradise, right off of Sahara. So... Uh, get yourself over there and check me out. Um, and let's see, where else do I have artwork? Um, I have artwork in two places right now. Oh, I also have artwork at the Sahara West Art Museum. And, you know, that used to be, well, the Sahara West Library, sorry. They used to be the Sahara West Art Museum uh, when I moved here. And I moved here on purpose to live right across the 
street from there. I don't live there anymore. But, um, you know, that was a big deal, you know, to get your artwork there, man. If you could get in there, you were, like, doing it. You're, like, on the A-list or something. Oh, I'm sorry. I got so excited about that. I got paint all over my paintbrush. Um, but, yeah, you were really doing it, man. You were, like, on. Um, if you could get your artwork there. And, you know, you were the stuff. You were big stuff back then. And so, you know, I mean, all these fancy people were there. and It was a nice show. I was really kind of proud of myself to get there. Uh, I'm not in the big room. There's um, a brother there who's uh, an African guy um, that used to teach um, with CCSD. And um, he's there now. And uh, he's in the big room. And he has these huge paintings, but... Um, you know, I'm in the small room with my friends who are in the artist guild. So, but hey, you know, I'm there. I'm there. So, I kind of made it. So, I'm good with that. Um, but, you know, get yourself over there and check me out because, hey, that's a free show. You have to pay for that. Um, but, you know, I made it. I did it. I got in. So, I'm pretty happy with that concept. All right, well, I'm not too unhappy with this foot. I'm going to make it a little darker up here. i got to transition this a little bit better. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to have to get rid of some of that red, though. That's just not going to work out. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I'm liking that pretty much. Okay, so this is what I did with her foot. So, let's see if you guys can see that. Oh, I can't see, my, can't see what I'm doing. So that's her foot. I transitioned her foot. So she has a foot now. So I have to do the other foot. So, you know, that's not a real big deal on painting. It's okay. It's not that great, but it's all right. You know, I mean, it's just painting a foot. So if you guys want to see more stuff like that, let me know. Because um, that'll be stuff that I'll, you know, try and do. And then... You know, I'm going to make her some toes here. She's going to have her little toes out. And um, then I can do stuff like that uh, for you. And, like, I didn't see her foot, so I'm just giving her, like, a general, some general feet. So that, you know, you can kind of see her feet. And mix the, mixing the colors in as I'm going about it. Since I kind of know what, what does the foot look like. And kind of what does it have to do to move. So I'm just kind of doing that right now. Just giving her a little foot, a little toes. Kind of mixing those colors in as I do that. While it's wet. This is a wet into wet technique that I'm doing. And that's how I blend my colors out so that, you know, I know what, what to do with that. And um, I'm actually teaching my students how to do that right now. So um, they're learning a wet into wet technique. My little second graders and third graders are learning that. So... Uh, that's the best way to blend colors that I have found is to use a wet into wet technique. And then I kind of um, tap my paint so that I can blend really small amounts of it at the same time. And that helps a lot too. So if you're just beginning to paint, that's one technique. It's not the only one, but it's one that I use that I found has been very successful for me. Um, so if you're just beginning to learn to paint, that's one technique that you can use is to put on some paint on your on your uh, paper or on your palette or uh, I mean, uh, sorry on your paper or on your um, on your canvas, and then you put kind of not a whole lot of it, but just enough so that you have enough to blend, and you put in a medium value, a dark value, and then you put in a light value and in between those that dark and, and light value, put that medium value, and then you mix your medium and your light value at the point where they come together, and you have that wet into wet technique. And that's how I mix those values in and give them 
that um, so that you know you have that transition where it goes from light to dark. And now I'm going to put in a little extra dark value here so I can separate out her toe because I'm giving her more than one toe to stand on. Even though she's like a little ballerina girl, little ballerina baby. Um, I want to give her, I'm going to make this the top of her foot a little bit darker so that I can show that she has a toe. And uh, I want to do that so that I can give her a toe in the background. And then I'm going to give her maybe a couple more toes in the background. And they're, they're going to be very, very small and very dark. You won't be able to see much detail on them. And they'll be very, very dark. Because um, I'm starting out with a very dark value that's almost black. But I'm mixing my black and this red, reddish brown that I have together. So that's what I'm doing here. And I, I'm so sorry. I apologize for the quality of this video. Um, you know, this is my iPad. It's, it's set up on a jury rig type deal. Um, I will be getting some more, um, another rig for my, um, I'll be getting another rig for my iPad to put, put on my, um, so that I can, you know, videotape properly, and um, I think I'll use my phone, which may or may not have the best resolution, but, you know, it might. This depends on, you know, when I have a tripod, a proper tripod, and a proper mic, um, you might be able to hear me better, you'll be definitely be able to see me better, um, and you may be able to see what I'm doing better. So, hopefully, um, then maybe the next paycheck that I get, you'll be able to, I'll be able to do something like that. I'm going to give her, oh, no, that's way down. Um, I was going to give her a little bit of highlight on that toe, but I think that was too much. It's just a little too much, so I'm going to spread that out a little bit. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's okay. So right now she has three toes. And uh, I'm going to try and give her one more little teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny baby toe. Little tiny toes. She only have four toes, okay? So don't freak out about it, okay? Don't freak out. It's only going to have four toes. I'm going to be able to see four toes because this is very small, very tiny. And it's so small. I'm going to have to take my glasses off so I can see this because that's very far away. And yes, I do need new glasses because I can't see that. That's so tiny. I have to look at that again. Oh, wow. That's really small. Okay, let's see if I can, and I'm going to have to put some black on there. So, you always want to have um, a dark and a light contrasting each other. Otherwise, you can't see any, you know, this is going to give, this isn't going to have a whole lot of detail in it, because it is so far away, I mean, because it's so tiny, and um, that's part of the problem. Oh, I like that. Um, ooh, I really want to see that. All right. Um, so I'm going to blend this out some. So I'm going to take some. And when I look up this, look at this really closely, I can see the difference between the paint and the uh, paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go back into my paint, and I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to blend this out. And then I'm going to use my finger to smudge it so that it smudges upwards and it blends upwards like this. Just kind of like, I'm not going to do that. My finger wet. And then I'm just going to blend it like that so that it blends down and it blends up. And do the same thing on this foot. This and just blend it down and up. And then this way there'll be a better transition between what was on the paper and what's on the painting. So I want this to just kind of start to just go into my paper. I mean into paper. 
into my um, painting and also to because once you put acrylic on it really kind of it turns into like a little layer of plastic because that's what it is um, so if you want to blend it out then you have to do something a little bit extra to it otherwise you know you're just gonna be stuck with whatever that is I'm gonna put a little highlight in here so I can highlight her foot and since I went a little overboard with some of this. There we go. So I'm going to bring that right in there. A little bit of yellow there. A little golden color. A little bit more golden color. Okay. And so, I, you know, this is what I try to teach my little kids and stuff, but, you know, they don't really have the skill or the patience to understand what I'm doing, so... You know, my next move is probably going to be to adults because, and, you know, when I move to adults, you know, it's like, subscribe to my channel, you know, that type of deal. Because, um, I don't, I don't really, I don't like doing paint parties and stuff like that. Um, first of all, I don't, I don't really want people hanging out in my house and stuff like that. I don't, I don't really want to do that. Um, okay, so now that I have her feet done and I'm kind of happy with that, um, I think what I'd like to do... I'm, I'll worry about that in a little bit. I, I want to do her hand because her hand really needs. Oh, let's see who's that. Oh, Anne. Anne Edson. Hi. Oh, wow. I haven't seen you in so long. Um, and Audrey Leggins. Oh, wow. Hey, cuz. Um, so um, I'm going to like try and do something with her hand here because it's a little bit on the light side. Uh, sorry, you guys missed out on some of the stuff I was doing, but that's okay. You can come in anytime while I'm painting. And see what I'm doing. Um, by the way, Audrey and Anne, um, I'm going to be doing a live session on my art show, which is on the virtual black, the, oh, sorry, it's the Black Heritage Virtual Art Show. And I have a link on my uh, Facebook page to that. And that's going to be February 24th and 25th. And um, I'll be doing that. Oh, wow, that's too much of that. I'll be doing that on um, February 24th and 25th. Um, my show, my um, live session will be at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So you guys can join me at that time. Oh, I like that so much better. Put some of that on there. Um, I'm just putting a little brown on here on the edges that are white. It's just warm since it's wet. Um, so that I can... Um, get some of that paper off of there. It's it's okay here, because her dress was actually white. But I kind of want to like get a little bit of highlight on here. And I'll go back over this later and put some black on here. And then her hand, um, her hand just lost all of its detail. It just lost all of its detail. So um, I'll have to put some of that back in. Looks like I can see some paper on here. Yep, I can see paper. Let me put some water in there. There was paper covering her hair um, when I first started this. So, um, but I do invite people to come and to, I'll have um, maybe two or two more, two or three more live sessions um, before the art show on the 24th and 25th. Um, I have like about five days off, which is like totally awesome. I'll be able to do a lot more works and get a lot more of these uh, artworks done. Um, and, um, I'll be inviting people to come in and comment and give me feedback on my sessions, on my artwork, and, um, give me ideas about things I can do on these, uh, artworks and, uh, you know, um, just generally just help, help assist out, you know, um, because I really want, um, your feedback and your help on stuff that you do. If you like it, tell me. Tell me you like it. Please tell me if I'm upside down. Give me a comment. Let me know. Hey, cuz. Let me know if I'm upside down. Uh, if I'm broadcasting to you upside down. Because this looks upside down. So I'm just going to turn it now. Because I'm like freaking out about this mic potentially being upside down. I don't want people to be looking at me upside down. That just seems like a totally wrong thing to do. So, oh, now you can't see anything. Oh, shoot. Oh, so, let's see. I don't want it to fall. Well, I can't.
can't see anything now. I got light in my eyes. Let's see. No, nope, nobody can see anything now. I know what I did. Oh, that was it. Okay, let's see. If you like it, say you like it. If you don't like it, tell me tell me that in a private comment. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think. I think you can you guys see? I guess you can a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna turn my light down a little bit. Oh, there we go. There you go. Now let's see. Oh no, I can't see anything. No, gotta have the light on. It's too dark for anybody not to see. Okay, so here's my little baby girl. She's um a ballerina. And I need some more water. Where is my spray bottle? I don't know. I can't find anything. I'm not totally prepared. I just decided to start painting and you know the feeling started hitting me so I said I need to go paint. I need to feel paint. I've been painting all this stuff in, with my kids at school and stuff and I'm like Man, I'm so tired of painting the Aurora Borealis with little kids. I need to go paint something I want to paint. So I decided to come and start painting. And uh, sometimes I'm not always prepared to do the live session, but, you know, I just decided to go ahead and do it with you guys so you could see where I was at and what I was doing. And, um, you know, I haven't done any art for, for myself for about two weeks since the last live session so it was time it was definitely time and I think that's all I want to do right now I'm gonna leave her foot like it is cuz that's okay and uh, I just want to put some of her hand back in put some of this hand back in so that you can see it doesn't have to be perfect but I wanted this hand to be a little bit lighter than it was I'm going to uh, take some of that material off, just so it's a little bit, I still want it to be kind of, um, let's see, here, take some of this, this is really wet, so I'm going to take this and take some of that material off, oh yeah, there we go, I just didn't want it to be like the same color as her hair, so you didn't get it confused with hair, so this is all I did, was I just put it in her hand and made it look brown. Now I got to do her hair because, you know, she can't be walking around with no big old white thing in her head. So I take some of this. Now, normally what I do is I um, put some, a layer of um, Mod Podge on her, on her, on there before I start painting it. But this time I'm just going to put the paint on and then I'll put the Mod Podge on afterwards. And I'm doing that because I want this paint to soak into this paper before I get to doing that. And um, the reason I'm doing it that way is because I want to still have the ability to have some areas not have paint. So I can have some areas still look, I want to look kind of the same. That's why I'm using my finger. And I was talking so much smack to those people who were using their fingers while they were painting. I cannot believe I'm using my fingers while I'm painting, but I am. I never use my fingers to paint. Ever. I never, ever use my fingers to paint. If my kids saw this, they'd be, Miss Buford, why are you using your fingers? I'm using my fingers to paint. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I feel bad for talking bad to pe about, about people, but, you know, I do use my tools more than my fingers. I guess you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so I won't say anything about people. But you know, these people that I'm watching on, on the YouTube, they're using their fingers to do like whole entire paintings. So I just kind of freak out about stuff like that. That kind of freaks me out. So now I'm going to just give her hair a more natural type of feel to it. So it looks like a little real afro. So I'm just going to like get those edges. Give her some edges. She got to have her kitchens. She's got to have her little kitchens. So I'm going to give her some kitchens. And then I'm going to get the edges of her dress. Now her dress is white. But it, you know, I'm, I turned it into a drawing. So I want to put in my drawing lines back. 
I'm going to paint in my drawing lines. How about that? How about that? I'm painting in my drawing lines. So, not all of them either. Just some of them. Because these are nice, big, fat drawing lines. So I'm going to paint those back in so they're nice and thick and black. And it goes back to being a drawing of a photograph on a painting. Now, how's that? A painting of a drawing... Wait, wait, I just said no. A painting of a... No, a painting of a drawing of a photograph. A painting of a drawing of a photograph. There you go. That's a lot of iterations. A lot of different iter iterations for you. Just twist your mind around that. A painting of a drawing of a photo. So I don't know if it's still a painting of a drawing of a photo, but that's what I'm calling it. A painting of a drawing of a photo. So, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And I'm liking how this paint is flowing. And so this was a photo transfer. It's a, well, it's a photo transfer technique. It wasn't actually, it started out as a photo that I turned into a drawing on my computer. And then uh, once I had it as a drawing on my computer, then I got a photocopy of it. And I turned that photocopy into this transfer onto my painting. So now it is part of the painting and I'm painting over it. And I'll be painting some other little parts of it. And I'm not going to paint all these things in there because that would just take forever. And that would defeat the purpose of creating this image like this. But, you know, I did want to keep let it have its quality of being a drawing because I like the quality of it as a drawing and I'm getting to a part where I don't have enough light to see what I'm doing so I want it to have that kind of graphic quality of a drawing and the quality of a painting at the same time so that's why I'm doing it this way and it has this kind of thick black line around the outline around it. Because it did have a black outline that I wanted to keep and preserve. Okay. So I'm going to continue to go on with this and put some of these lines in here. In her dress. But I'm not going to do all of them because, like I said, that would just be forever and defeat the purpose of it being a uh, photo that was turned into a drawing. That's why some of these lines are like this. So, But I want to highlight some of them because some of them are very cool. And I think she had like some kind of little dress that had little flower rosettes in it or something but I want to outline the really strong ones especially ones that were um, actual wrinkles in the dress that came up like some of the really deep ones I want to outline some of those so that they really stand out catch your eye There's some that faded over here, but I'm not going to worry about those because she starts to kind of fade a little bit over there, but that's all right. And then um, I have to decide about the hands and the arms, but let me give her some little ruffles over here. Because notice I'm not doing all of them, just some of them. I'm not doing all of them. Oh my gosh, I can't just wait to get my my iPad, no, no, not my iPad, my tripod. I can't wait to get my tripod so you guys can see what I'm doing so much. I'm putting in so much detail. And when you see this, you're going to be like, man, Karen, oh, wow, that's so cool. You know, and you're going to want to get this from me. And I'm going to say, yeah, you can do that. 
Okay, so now it has a lot more detail to it. it has a lot more detail to it. She stands out a lot more. Uh oh, just dropped that. She stands out a lot more. Okay. Um, and I might do something on her face just so we can see her face stand out just a little a tiny bit more. I might have to get a smaller brush. Do I have a smaller brush? See, I know I have some really teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny brushes. I bought some brand new tiny brushes, too. Let's see if I have some little teeny, tiny brushes. There's this the tiniest one. Because this is a new one. Well, I might have to go to the old brushes to get the teeny, tiny ones. Let's see, where are those old ones? Because I have some really... Oh, wait, let's see. Um, let's see. <gasps> wow. This one is super tiny. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is super duper tiny. Oh, my God. Where is it? That is super tiny. Okay, this is small. This is small, but this is super tiny. Look at that. That's like, seriously, one hair and some air. So let's try that. Because I want to do her face. One hair and some air. All right, let's go. Whoa, man. That's like an eyebrow. That looks like an eyebrow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's an eyebrow. Okay, I got to take my glasses off for this one. Because this is like... If your eyebrows are that small, you have no eyebrows. You need to, like, get that surgically altered. Okay? So I'm going to get her little face. I'm holding my breath. Deep breath! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh-oh, something's on her nose. Uh oh that's a piece of paper. Oh my gosh, this is like, oh, hold your breath. Don't talk. Ooh, I don't, I don't think I like that too much. Hmm. Well, that's what her nose looks like. Okay, let me get her eye. Up close, she looks kind of weird. But she's still cute. She's still a cutie. She's a real little cutie. Okay, I just want this to come out really nice. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, there's a big bump of paint. Oh man. Okay, let's see. Did I get it? There we go. Oh, cutie, 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 cutie. Oh, what a cutie, cutie. What a cutie, cutie. She is a cutie, cutie. Cute little baby girl. Like, I have one other painting that I did. And this one I did that was uh, also um, in, the, in the same fashion in terms of it being a photo that I turned into a drawing of a cute little girl. Oh, my God, she's so cute. I call her Natural Baby Girl. I think she's on my Facebook page as uh, one of my fan, fan, fan pages. Okay, so this is, yeah. Oh, her is so cute. Oh, look at her. Yeah, uh-huh. That baby girl. Oh, she is a cute little thing. I hope she ain't bad in real life. I hope you're not a bad girl. I hope you're a good girl. She looks like she's a cute little girl. Like she's a good girl. She's good for her mommy. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of line on her. Really small line. Since I have this small brush, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Do a really small black line. I don't want to do a really big, thick, heavy line on her arm since it is on her arm. And I don't want to go too far on her hand. Like, I don't want to um, make this line too heavy on her hand. I want her hand to still be really nice and small. Even though there is a big line I can see on her hand. So I'm going to put some detail back in her fingers so that you can see her fingers. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Because I, I turned them brown so that you could see them. Because they were originally kind of really dark. You couldn't really see them. So now I'm putting some detail back in her fingers. But, you know, this brush is so tiny that you have to get, like, just a little bit of, um, uh, you have to keep getting paint. That's because it's so, so tiny. Okay, so, and then I think I might have to put some more brown on her arm because this paper, you know, when I did this, 
Um, there was a lot of paper still on her. Okay, yeah, that's looking worse. So I lost a lot of detail with this. So I'm going to put some on her hand, the hand that I painted brown. And I mm, I think I want to paint that again because that needs some more reds because it's not matching the rest of her body. But I love her toes. Her toes are so cute. She's got little cute little baby toes. But that one foot, I'm going to have to redo that and like put some uh, other color on her hand, on her toes. Because that does not look right. I'm going to have to hook baby girl up. heavy-handed here with my fingers you know I've always had some issue about painting fingers I don't know what it is but I remember painting some Egyptians and I was painting their fingers and right before the Denver Black Arts Festival and oh my god I was up till like four o'clock in the morning painting fingers I had some crazy dream about the fingers attacking me and it was just stupid but anyway some kind of crazy dream about paint fingers, you know. So, oh, this is hair. Oh, that's probably why this looks so weird. Because it's hair over here. I never did paint this part of her hair. Let's give her some kitchens on this side. I gave her kitchens on the other side. Let me get her kitchens on this side. Get her kitchen straight. That's why it looks like that. So she got her kitchens. So... Let me give her some kitchens over here. Oh, she got some kitchens right there. Let me give her some on this side. That's why this is just too nice of a cut. My husband, Dennis, said that it looked like uh, um, she had a mountain a cloud and some mountains on her head. So that's just to <clears throat> fix that a little bit. Because even though you'll be able to see that this is painted over, it, does, it won't matter that much that it's painted over like that. Let me give her some kitchens. Here at the top, I don't know why I cut that like that. Probably because who knows why? Who knows what I was thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. I just know that you know I was trying to make sure I got most of that done. Okay, so now there's a little piece of paper. All right, I think that's gonna be okay. I think that's going to be, look real nice. Now, I've got top of her dress. And I know y'all can't see this because this is really tiny, but I can see it. So, there is, um, oh, now I can't see anything. Oh my God, let me put my glasses back on. I can't see my computer at all. I'm just so blind. Hey, cuz. Hey, 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 Aaron. How you doing down there in AC? Okay, so, or, I don't know. Yeah, I guess she's still in AC. So, here's my little cute baby girl. She's just about done. I'll try and show it to you so that you can see. Oh, wait, you can't see that. So, there's her dress. I did her feet. I gotta finish her foot. But here's her cute little face. Now you can see her face. It's more defined. It was a little bit fading away. But now you can see her a little bit better. And uh, I did her fingers better. And well, her afro looks a little bit like pushed into one side. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to give her a little bit more hair on this side. Let me let me paint some more hair for her because that afro is definitely crooked, y'all. That's a crooked afro. Let me get with that. That mm, mm, mm. that's no. That's a no. <laughs> let me paint her some hair on her afro. <laughs> okay, I need a bigger brush for that. Let's switch up brushes here. Give her some more hair because that's not going to work. Uh oh, what is that? Ew, something's on my brush. Something yucky. Ew. Okay, let me give her a little bit more hair here because that looks kind of funky. I'll round out that afro for her. Yeah, okay, I think that'll work. Okay, let's see. That looks maybe better. I think when I look at it in the um, in the camera and I can see it, I think that that helps a lot. That helps me a lot anyway. So, 
yeah, well, it's still kind of weird though. Okay, let me just I'll paint it a little bit more. I can maybe get it to be round. You know, I'm from the 70s. Oh, that's it. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put it up on my, um, on my easel, and then y'all can see it. I'll give you like a little preview of it. Because, well, it still looks kind of funky, man. Hmm. Okay, she got a lot of hair. She's, she's got tall hair. So let me get the, get the thing. And uh, I'm going to switch from me to you. Or from me to her. There we go. And you can see her. So, let's see. Yeah. If I stand in front of the light, then it's not so bright and shiny. So that's what her little afro looks like. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. Yes. Oh, I forgot to put this in HD. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it sideways so you can kind of see. Uh, oh, no, not, not that way. Mm. Sorry, that's my thumb. You know, my mom used to do that all the time. When she was supposed to be taking pictures, she'd be taking a picture of her thumb. Okay, so here she is. Oh, wow. Yeah, look. Oh, I can see her. I can see her so much better. Yeah, okay, that foot's not too bad. Okay, I think I'll make a black outline around her foot, too. Around her legs and her and her feet. And then she'll really look nice. But I, that, yeah. She looked like she wearing one of my mama's wigs. Okay. Not bad. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, it could use some more little flowers in it. Maybe I'll make a few of those too. But right now, I'm just going to stop for now. I, I'm going to keep going here in my studio. I'm going to keep going here in my studio. Oh, you know what? I can just like do this. Let me stand. So I'm going to keep going here in my studio and keep painting. Um, and I'm going to let you guys go do whatever it is that y'all going to do today or this evening. Or, you know, go watch the previews of the Super Bowls or, or the um, Pro Bowl or whatever it is that y'all going to do. Go out and drink, have a party, um, have a good time, have some fried chicken or whatever it is that folks do on a Saturday night, wherever you're at. And um, I'm going to continue uh, doing this. I have some other works. And um, if you want to see the rest of my artworks, and I have a lot of them because I have to pour, do some poured acrylic paint. And I'm going to show you guys that next week in another live session. Um, I can't tell you exactly what time. If it's going to be like 2 in the afternoon or if it's going to be later on in the evening. But what I'll do is I'll try and post on... Um, on maybe next Friday uh, to give you like a little warning of what time I think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I try, I prefer to do it like maybe in the afternoon um, so that I'll have a little bit more light. Um, I had a bunch of running around to do today, so um, I wasn't able to get that done um, this um, afternoon when I had more light, but um, and could like turn off my big horrible light. And, um, so, um, next Saturday, definitely not on next Sunday, because that's the Super Bowl, I think, and I'll definitely be watching that, but, um, you know, I'll try and post something next Saturday where I'm going to do some live pour painting, um, which is the backgrounds for my paintings, and then, if people have some suggestions about, um, some wise sayings that they know, that they can put, that I can put on my artwork. Hey, I'm all down with that. Give me some of your wisest sayings that your parents told you, whether you followed them or not. Um, I would like to hear them because those are some things that I'd like to incorporate into my artworks so that I can, you know, help out people or, you know, if there's something that, you know, some saying that you really like that you would like to see on your, um, on your artwork, let me know. Because I would love to put that on some of my artwork. And um, then that would be some pieces that, you know, would make be more meaningful for you. Um, 
and also probably for other people too. So uh, shoot me some uh, emails or shoot me some, you know, put some post something on Facebook for me of stuff that your parents told you that you found valuable and helpful in your life. Um, Cause I have some that I like, but you know, you know, what, what did your folks tell you that you needed that helped you out that you found to be a wise saying, or, you know, if you see something that uh, somebody posts um, that, you know, is, you know, stretches your consciousness up to a higher level or something that uplift you, um, post it on my page and I'll look at it. And, you know, if it's something that I really like, I will try and find some words for it. Like, um, I have these where I found almost all of the letters, but, um, you know, I have, I go through magazines and find stuff like, where, where, where's the camera at? Oh, uh, thing, find your, uh, and this was something like, uh, find your place where anything is possible. So that's what I'm still looking for, like another word in magazines and I'll, I'll cut stuff like that out. I got scripture quotes okay I've got all kinds of stuff I have um, you know all these words that I intend to use on stuff so you know I'm going to be putting these words you know that people can use onto those paintings that I have and so you know, these are my paintings that are back here. You can kind of see them over my shoulder, not just the little girl. There's the sister that, there's the beautiful sister up there. And then I have some more that are back behind there. I have um, 15 paintings. I got some down here on the floor. Oh, wait, you know, it's easier to see. Um, I have some more down here on the floor. There's a sister with dreadlocks like I used to have. There's some more people. You know, I've got lots of paintings over here. So that's just a quick look. You only get a sneak peek. You only get a sneak peek. This is the sneak peek time. So let me know so I can, you know, figure out, you know, what kind of sayings. If you got a good scripture, give me a good scripture. I'll put that on there. If you got an uplifting statement, something that you lived by from your parents that helped you out, send that to me in the email. And it may end up on one of my paintings. I'm not going to promise you anything, but it might end up on one of my paintings. Um, because, again, like I said, I have, you know, all kinds of cool stuff that I want to put on there. I have some stuff that might be writing in it. Might not be. Like, I don't know what that is. It just looks like writing. But it's kind of cool. So it might be the background for something else. Okay, maps, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, here's the rest of that. Find the place in your part. Find the place in your heart or whatever where nothing is impossible. And it was something on snacks. So, <laughs> so you know, I just cut that part out. And then, you know, I'll get rid of snacks and put something else up there. So, anyway... I'm going to sign off for now, and um, then this uh, live session will get posted on my YouTube channel, which is Karen Buford Art, and um, anyone who's watching there on the YouTube channel, please go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also, um, after I do this show, then I'm going to start teaching on my YouTube channel, because hopefully I'll have my little setup going, and I'll have my... Um, my uh, tripod and my mic and I'll be able to just like have a better light maybe um, that doesn't shine on all my work and I'll be able to um, do some really good uh, sessions on um, live on YouTube that I can um, show people how to do what I do and um, how to create the art that I create and how to paint because um, I there's like one one brother that I that I watch that shows people how to paint and he's pretty good um he doesn't you know I don't know maybe because I'm a teacher and I teach little kids who get bored really fast and have a very short attention span you know I know you got to like be on it with them otherwise you have lost them so if you don't know how to talk about stuff that's interesting and that's not boring you are done Okay, so you have to be a little bit of an entertainer for people. Otherwise, they're going to be like, 
<sighs> this is boring. What is she talking about? Okay, so I try not to be like that. And I know how to talk kind of fast because, you know, I got folks from all over. And um, they talk fast, too. So, you know, I know you got to keep up the monologue. Um, and when I'm doing stuff, you know, like my kids have already asked me, maybe in, I think the first video that I did for them was in September or October, I think it was in September. And they're like, Miss Buford, don't you have a, a, a YouTube, aren't, aren't you on YouTube? And I was like, no, this is not on YouTube. And that got my wheels turning. <laughs> oh, that doesn't mean I'm crazy. It means I got my wheels turning to think about, you know doing something on YouTube and I just didn't know how to do it and you know God moves in mysterious ways and decided that you know this is something I need to be doing so here I am and I'm doing it so anyway I love y'all um as always you know uh keep up the good work that y'all doing post some stuff for me um share this video um sign up for um my um my um God, I'm so tired. Sorry. Sign up for um, the virtual black art show. Um, the I'll be posting that. If it's not still on my channel, I'm sure it is. This is going to be on my YouTube channel. It'll also be um, underneath my um, webpage. It'll be not on my webpage. It'll be underneath my YouTube. I just said that. It'll be underneath my Facebook page. Um, and... Sign up for that before the 24th because the price goes from $0.99 cents to um, $10. So I don't want to hear about you was mad because you didn't do it because I'm telling you now. And it's like January 30th or 28th or 27th or 26th or something. So um, go ahead and do that now. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Same bat channel. And sometime between... Two and five. Okay. Somebody time 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 sometime between two and five. Okay, so that's kind of like only three hours. So, you know, I'm gonna start sometime between two Pacific time and five Pacific time. So that's a three hour window. So y'all can get done whatever little stuff y'all gotta get done. I can get done whatever little stuff I gotta get done. Beanie Cuz, I love you. Um Thanks for tuning in, and I'll be back next week to do some more stuff. I'm going to do some acrylic pour painting, and um, uh, tune in for that, and uh, I'll maybe be doing some different artwork then, too. Um, I'll be finishing up another piece and showing you how to do some other techniques, too. So, till then, love you, peace out, and love you with all my heart.